the next lesson we're going to be looking at today, or the next thing we're going to be looking at, is if statements. So in the previous lesson, we looked at uh, basic print statements and basic input statements. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is combining those with some basic uh, if statements and um, some operators to compare one thing to another. Uh, we'll get into this in a little bit more detail in a second. So once again, um, from idle, I need to file and open a new file. And I'm going to start off again by just printing or just asking the user for their name. So name equals input, just like before, uh, what is your name? Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to put an if statement in here. So an if statement allows us to compare a variable with either another variable or some other kind of criteria. So I'm going to say that if whatever the is contained in name is equal to Lee, and I'm going to put that in speech marks because that is a string, my program, my program will print great name because it is a great name. Now, there's a couple of things here about formatting that you need to know about. Firstly, um, you might have noticed that I've used the double equals here. A single equals in Python is the same as a single equals in maths. It means that this plus this, or this and this, equals this. So these two things together make something else. A double equals in Python is like saying this is the same as this. So the name variable, if you see the double equals, it means the name variable is the same as this string of letters. And what we call um, words contained in speech marks like this, we call these strings. So I'm saying here that whatever is contained in the name variable will be the same as this string of letters here. The colon at the end, I need that to be able to go on to the next line, and then you'll see that it automatically indents from there. Now, it automatically indents because it is saying that this piece of code is specifically related to this line of code here. So, if this criteria is proved to be true, so if, if name is the same as this, this thing here underneath it will happen. And that's what the indent means. We could do uh, another print statement underneath this, and it means that Again, if this criteria is proved to be true, or if name is equal to Lee, then it will print this first line, and then it would do a second line of print statement if I wanted it to be. Um, let's just run this to start, and then we'll go on to um, what else we can put into this. So if I run the module, and OK, um, we'll just call it if. So what is your name? Um, let's try it with a different name first of all. So you'll see I don't get an error because everything is correct here. I've got my colon in the right place and everything else. But my criteria is not uh, is is not true in this in this case because my program is only looking for um, the the text Lee L E E like this with a capital L. So let's run it again. So now you can see that when I've typed in the string Lee with capital L, it comes up with great name because it's I've proved this um, this part of the statement to be true. Name is the same as Lee. My input statement is the same as this check here. So let's put in um, our next part of this, which is an else. In order to do this, I need to make sure I'm back at the edge of Python. You'll see that if I press enter from here, it will indent it still, but this is no longer part of the if criteria. This is now back to the main program. Now, an else is basically saying what happens when anything else but the criteria is entered. So in this case, if I print, Um, I print something like, um, yeah, that's an OK name. If I now run this, and I enter in, um, sorry to all the Robs out there, but I enter in Rob, I get, yeah, that's an OK name. So 
we can see here that it's checking. If I enter Lee, I get the first um, part of the if statement. If I enter any other name at all, I get the second part of the if statement. Uh, sorry, the else part of this will run. But what if you have more than one criteria? So let's have a look at some other criteria we can put in here. So we have our if and we have our else statement. We are now going to build on the uh, middle part of this statement. And um, if we want to add more um, criteria checks along the way, so if name was equal to other things, um, we could output different things basically. And the way we do that is we use um, elif statements. So in an if statement, you will only have one if, and that will go at the top of your statements. Um, you will have an else statement which goes at the bottom and in between you will have elif statements if you have this much criteria. So if I wanted to check that name was equal to something else, so in this case if I want to check that uh, elif is equal to James, I print um, my So in this case, if I enter in James, it will go to the second part of this criteria here and it will print out the phrase here, uh, the string here underneath. Uh, my dad is called James. So let's run this and have a look. So again, a little bit, what is your name? And if I type in James, so again, my dad is called James. So now we've looked at names, uh, sorry, uh, strings, we're going to have a look at um, some other operations. So instead of just having um, is the same as, um, we are going to look at uh, greater than and less than. So we're going to ask uh, for an age. Uh, age equals input. And I'm going to just ask the user to input their name. Uh, sorry, input their age. What is your age? Um, I now use an if statement, so if age is greater than 20, print, uh, do something like not that old yet. So for every age which is greater than 20, I'm going to print out not that old yet. Now for every other age, so for what else, I'm going to print. Um, you are still basically ooh, a baby. <laughs> so what should happen here? So I don't need any other criteria here really. I don't need an, I don't need an elif statement in here. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, I mean, actually. So what is your name? Lee. What is your age? So if, uh, let's try one which is over 20 to start, so 22, uh, not that old yet. So you can see it is triggering this uh, part of the code. So it is looking at that part of the if statement. Let's run this again and just check to make sure the second part is working. So what is your name again? Lee. What is your age? Just do one which is underneath 20. And there we go, you're still basically the baby. So everything which is underneath 20 will come up with this. Now, the only problem with this is that um, it doesn't take into consideration if somebody enters in letters. If someone enters in letters, um, it's still going to um, display something regardless. And the way we're going to change that is we're going to add another data type into this. We're going to add an integer. An integer is a number. Um, we're using numbers here, so we really should be making sure these numbers are being recognized as numbers and not letters. Every time you put speech marks around something, Python recognizes it as letters, uh, a string we said in the last uh, episode. So to make Python recognize this as a number and not a letter, we're going to remove the speech marks. And in this input statement here, because we're using an input and we're not spe specifically telling Python what type of input, what type of data is being input, it's just assuming that it is letters. If I tell Python that it's an integer by adding int in front of the input, opening the bracket, then making sure I've got two brackets on the end, so I have one, two brackets here, so I need one, two brackets on the end, 
when my user now enters in a, their age, it will convert it into a number and save it into there. What will happen is that if my user at this point doesn't enter in a, a number, it will say, um, it, it will not accept it basically. So let's kind of try and, or it will run the else statement. Let's run this, see what happens. So that's entering something that's not an age, and you get this error. Because what is happening is that um, this uh, variable will only accept an integer now, which is, which is fine. Run this again. Okay. What is your name? What is your age? And let's do one which will actually work. So 22. Not that old yet. So it's turned it into an actual number and it is uh, using that number to compare it to the number which is here. Let me just try one more just to make sure that the under 20 is going to work. What is your name? Lee. Uh, what is your age? Let's do 19. There we go, you're still basically a baby. So that is using if statements, if, elif, and else statements, very basically, and a very gentle introduction into data types. We will be going into that in far more detail. Um, we're going to be looking a little bit more about these in the next lesson, so have a little look at that, and thank you for watching.